Welcome back. Is 3D printed food the future of cooking? Imagine coming home, pressing a button, and having a chicken breast printed and cooked for you without ever having to touch your oven. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this, but we may be closer than you think because Columbia University engineers have figured at least part of the process out. We'll turn to tech expert and host of the podcast, Tech Stream, Shelly Palmer, for the details. We always love talking to you about the weird and wacky things that technology comes up with. This has to be. Yeah, when I got this email craziest. about this segment, I was like, what? <laughs> this is the craziest thing you have talked about, Shelly. It, it's it's on the border of the craziest thing we've spoken about. I love this particular project. You know, cooking food is the science of boiling water. You get heat applied to your food. The water inside, most of the food we eat is mostly water. Or the water inside it boils and it cooks. And if you do that nicely with a flame or a heating element or some microwaves, maybe it'll be amazing. Well, 3D printed food is not necessarily the food of the future, but we've never had a new cooking method till now. What they're doing is they're printing the food. They pureed some chicken, real chicken, not, you know, robo chicken, real chicken. And then they used the lasers to cook it at the same uh, size as each printed 3D layer with this amazing amount of accuracy. And so the food was cooked as it was printed, which allowed them to cook the food from the inside and the outside. They used different color lasers to get deeper into the food and not so deep into the food, completely changing the way they heated it, completely changing the way um, that the food, uh, the water inside it boiled. And so it's moister and tastier and they can control the way that it crisps on the outside. So really interesting interesting way to think about cooking food and it's the first time I've seen innovation in boiling water inside of things we eat in a long time so I was really excited about it and I think you should be excited about it too robo chicken lives <laughs> <laughs> so Shelly are there advantages to this but you you mentioned that it tastes good but are there, are there advantages in terms of like energy savings and uh, packaging things uh, that, that will that will last longer well, I think, you, first of all, you can put very fun designs on the outside that you can laser etch. So I guess the birthday messages on your chicken will be amazing. <laughs> but one of, the, one of the, I think, most interesting things about it, Robert, is that you actually get a different way to cook. And so the results can be different. Right now, the, the moisture, having a nice, moist piece of chicken, everyone will talk about what their preferences are. But we haven't seen different ways to do this ever so i'm kind of excited yeah taste is a big thing the way yeah. that your mouth feel there's all the things that the culinary experts tell us are super important but everyone's tried to manipulate flames everyone's tried to manipulate heating elements and microwaves and now we have lasers to manipulate that can cook at an incredibly accurate in an incredibly accurate way right at the levels of the 3d printing so it's kind of cool i i, I don't know it is really we'll cool see. It is really cool, but th they said it tastes good, but we're waiting to hear if Shelly Palmer says it tastes good. <laughs> so check back in with us when you try it. I am a chicken eating expert. There'll be no chickens left on earth if it's up to me, so I'm, I'm going for it. I'm going to eat them all. We'll all see. Right, I'll Shelley. let you know. Thanks, Shelly. That was cool.